Welcome to Gibbs Cam. In the first section of this lathe tutorial, we will walk you through solids import, tool creation, and two axis lathe. The next in this series will be taking this part and adding mill turn, and then finally adding the subspindle handoff and rear side machining. Let's have a quick look at the part and talk about what our goals are going to be. The first thing we're going to talk about is importing and aligning a solid model. Gibbs Cam is a six step process. Step number one, select your machine type and your basic stock size. Step number two, draw or import the drawing of your part. Step number three, create your tools. Step number four, create your tool paths. Step number five, simulate. And step number six, output the code. We are now at step number two, which is to either draw or import the drawing of your part. We have a full 2D geometry palette, a full surface modeling, and solid modeling palettes as well. This part is already drawn and we will cover drawing it later in this series. So we're going to concentrate on importing and aligning the part. It's as simple as with an empty file, go to File, Import. I know that this part is a parasolid, which is a very reliable solid model transfer. And I'm going to pick this model right here, July 24th lathe tutorial part. Open. Here comes the part. It's lined up and ready to go. But what if your CAD operator drew the part in another coordinate system? Let's say it were tilted in this direction. And let's get even more specific by pressing Control and Alt. And we can actually move the part and rotate the part out of phase. Use the sticks to drag the part across the stream. And now the part is in a shape to where it is not aligned to the machine axis. By the way, at this stage, when we align the part to the machine axis, we take the part to the machine. We don't bring the machine to the part because the machine's coordinate systems are fixed. To move this part lined up with the axis of the machine is very simple. Step one, go to coordinate systems and select the XY plane. Step two, turn on face selection. Select the front face of the part, right click the front face of the part, align face to CS. If we go to home view, we can see that the part is clearly lined up with the face on the CS, but the holes are out of phase and we want to fix that. The way we do that is we search for some type of a line on the part that we can make perpendicular or parallel, perpendicular to the Y or parallel to the X. To do that, I'll turn on face selection and edge selection. And this edge it seems to be suitable for alignment to the X axis. I select the edge, right click, align edge to CSH. And now when we go to home view, you'll see that the part is fully lined up in the machine space. In Gibbs Cam, you are in machine space, not paper space or model space. When you go to home view in the ZX plane, we're standing right in front of the door of the lathe and we have the door open and we're looking directly at the part. This is our X axis. This is our Z axis. And later we will be using our Y axis. Now that we have the part aligned and ready to go, we have to do some more housekeeping before we get done. First, we want to clear the history of this model. History adds to the size of the file. And if the history tree gets too large, the history tree is what happens when you move a solid model around each step. When the history tree gets too large, the file can be laggy 
just like other Windows program. So click the model, right click the model, clear history of selected. The next thing that we will do is make sure that this model is native to coordinate system one. How do we figure that out? Click on the model, right click on the model, show properties of selected. It's currently native to coordinate system eight. I want to make it native to coordinate system one. I make sure that coordinate system one is active. Make sure that the model is active and then click the change CSXYZ button. If you don't remember where a Gibbscam command is, you can come to the search window and type in change CS and there they are CSXYZ and you can push a button here called show me and it will open the menu and show you where it is. This model has now been imported and ready to go, but let's give it a color. I want one color for the main spindle, and later we'll have another color for the subspindle. Use your color of selected. I'll go with color number three. We have talked about importing and aligning the part in step one of this lathe tutorial. This lathe tutorial will continue now with setting up the tools on the part.